Prince Harry, 37, decided to visit his now wife Meghan Markle, 40, in Canada for All Saints Eve during the early stages of the couple's relationship in 2016. However, the now Duke and Duchess of Sussex received a horrible phone call from the British side of the pond from Harry's aides at Kensington Palace, informing them that their relationship was about to be made public. They especially didn't feel like spending Halloween weekend in hiding, as there was much to celebrate, they wrote. Some four months into their relationship, they were madly in love and eager to take part in the fun of one of their favorite holidays. The evening of October 29th, with Harry in town, the couple decided to go to a big costume party being thrown at Soho House in Toronto. Harry and Meghan reportedly attended the party wearing Venetian-style masks to help them stay undercover while they enjoyed Halloween. Harry's cousin Princess Eugenie, 31, was also said to be at the party with her now husband Jack Brooksbank, 35. The authors added, a cocktail or so into the party, they were both feeling relaxed, absorbing the Halloween spirit. It was possibly the perfect night out until they received a call from one of Harry's aides at Kensington Palace. It wasn't good news. The couple were informed by Kensington Palace aides that a newspaper had found out about their relationship and intended to go live with the story the following day. While the Mirror did not name the newspaper, the Sunday Express broke the news that Harry and Meghan were dating on October 31, 2016. According to the Mirror, Harry and Meghan were reportedly left upset and angry once they found out their romance would go public. Less than two years later, Harry and Meghan tied the knot at Windsor Castle's St. George's Chapel. Since then, and following the couple's Mexit move to California via Canada, the couple have welcomed their children Archie and Lilibet.